everyone, how are we all doing this week? First of all, before I start to read my story, I just want to say how proud I am of all the amazing work you've been doing with your adults at home. I'm seeing all of it, I'm getting pictures, I'm getting videos, and you're all doing a fantastic job. So please, can we all, before we start anything, give ourselves a big marshmallow clap and before you say it, we can have fireworks too. And also, I think we all need to give our adults who are looking after us so well and helping us learn brand new things, which is really hard, and we all need to give them a big thank you and a big hug and a big squeeze. And maybe you can give them a little kiss on the cheek. Okay, so this week, I'm going to read Billy's Beetle. And this story, the author who wrote the story is Mick Inkpen. And my dad has been begging me to read this story, so I think he's more excited to see this video than you are. Okay, we'll get started. Hopefully you can see the pictures. Billy's Beetle. Billy had a beetle in a matchbox. Or rather, he hadn't. He had lost it. Silly Billy. Have you seen my beetle? He asked the girl. But she hadn't. I think I can see the beetle. Can you see the beetle anywhere? I think it's under his arm. Along came a man with a sniffy dog. Don't you worry, said the man with the sniffy dog. My sniffy dog will soon find your beetle. Off went the sniffy dog. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Soon the sniffy dog had found a hedgehog, two spiders, some worms and a bone. But not Billy's beetle. I will help find Billy's beetle, said the hedgehog. And so the search continued. Suddenly, the sniffy dog stopped digging and took off like a rocket. Look at him go, said the man. He can smell Billy's beetle. Hmm, do you think he's going to find Billy's beetle? What do you think is going to happen? Hmm, I think he's going to find a dinosaur. Oh, oh I don't think you want to see this. But the sniffy dog had not smelled Billy's beetle. He'd smelled sausages. <gasps> leave, sniffy dog, leave, said the man. So the sniffy dog grabbed the sausages and left. Oh, poor woman, she's only gone out for some sausages. Deary me. Now there was Billy, the girl, the hedgehog, the sniffy dog, the man with the sniffy dog, and the woman without the sausages, all looking for Billy's beetle. And a polar bear who had joined in just for fun. Why not, hey? The sniffy dog soon found a tuba. A tuba's like a musical instrument. It belonged to a man in an umpire band. I don't think Billy Beetle's in there, said the band's man, but we will help you look for him. So the umpa band played and off they went. Umpa, umpa, sniff, sniff, sniff. An elephant wandered over to see what all the fuss was about. Stand aside, said the man with the sniffy dog. My sniffy dog is looking for the boy's beetle. The elephant became very excited. I've seen it, he said. The elephant jumped up and down with his trunk. Is that the beetle? He trumpeted triumphantly. No, said Billy. That's not my beetle. That's a furry caterpillar. There it is, a little furry caterpillar. Instantly, the elephant was untriumphant and sat down. The girl sighed a long, long sigh and sat down too. Where can it be, she said. 
the man with the sniffy dog, the sniffy dog, the lady without the sausages, the polar bear and the umpire band sat down next to them. But the hedgehog was hopping from one foot to the other and pointing, the beetle, the beetle, he squeaked. We found the beetle, we found the beetle, hooray, 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 they shouted. Well, actually, it was me who found it, said the little hedgehog. There he is, the little girl's got the beetle. But where's Billy? Oh no, we found the beetle and now we've lost Billy, dearie me. Everybody stopped shouting. They looked up, they looked down, they looked behind, and they looked in front. Don't you, but Billy had disappeared. Don't you worry, said the man with the sniffy dog. My sniffy dog has found something. Hmm, do we think it's going to be Billy? I don't know if I trust this sniffy dog. Very confusing book. Where's the next page? <laughs> Where's the next pages? <gasps> but the sniffy dog had not found Billy. He had found a little pig. Excuse me, said the little pig. I have lost my furry caterpillar. Have you seen him? Now I think we have seen a caterpillar. Do you remember seeing a caterpillar? Hmm, I wonder where the caterpillar's now gone. So the girl, the man, the, 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 with the sniffy dog, the hedgehog, the woman without the sausages, the polar bear, the umpire band, the elephant, the little pig and the beetle all went off together to look for Billy and the fairy caterpillar. And once again, it was actually the hedgehog who found them and the sniffy dog who did not. There we go. I'll tell you what, it was a very confusing book to read with all these loose pages coming out. But I hope you enjoyed your story this week. And yeah, hopefully I will get a story to you next week as well. Now you may be wondering, why is Miss Barron wearing a big jumper? Well, actually that was a question I was gonna ask you. Why do you think that this week I'm back in a big jumper? What's changed? What do you think? Or why do you think I'm wearing this jumper? Yep. Because it's freezing and it's raining. I can't believe it. Last week we had sunshine. Oh, well, for the past few weeks, actually, we've been out in our shorts and T-shirts. But this week, oh, it's raining and it's cold. So, yes, I'm back in a jumper. But hopefully next week, fingers crossed, the sun will be back out. I might even be able to read you a storybook outside. We'll have to see. But, yes, keep working hard. Keep sending me your pictures and your videos and I miss you very, very, very much. So much. And we'll be back together soon. And when we are, we'll have lots of new things in our classroom. Because at the minute I'm working hard to try and make it better for us. So take care, stay safe and I'll see you soon.